Modeling Integer Subtraction, Lesson 1.3a. We can use counters to find the difference of two integers. One color represents a positive, and one color represents negative. We can make our own counters by using a plus sign for the positive and a minus sign for the negative, or we can just draw our counters for a positive and a negative. To find the difference of two integers using counters, we may or may not need to add zero pairs. We do not need to add zero pairs to do this one. We have a negative three, so we have three red counters, and we need to subtract a negative two. We just take away two of the negative counters, one, two. That's going to leave us with one negative counter. Our difference is negative one. Now here, we will need to add zero pairs. We have a positive three, so we have three positive counters, and we need to take away two negative counters, but we don't have any negative counters. So we add zero pairs, one positive, one negative, one positive, one negative, and now we take away these two negative ones to represent this negative two, and we're left with five positive counters. We had three positive counters. We needed to subtract two negative ones, but we didn't have them, so we added two zero pairs and subtracted those two negatives. We have five positives left. The difference is positive five. For this one, we do not need to add zero pairs. We have a positive three and we're taking away a positive two. We put three positive counters. We just take two of the positive ones away. We have one positive. That's like first grade kindergarten math. Here we will need to add zero pairs. We have a negative three, so that's represented by these three red counters, and we need to take away two positive counters. So this is minus a positive two. We add two zero pairs, a negative and a positive, that's one zero pair, a negative and a positive, that's another zero pair. Now we can subtract two positive counters. We take these two away, we're left with five negative counters as our difference. Negative three minus two is equal to negative five. So if you remember from grade school, the first number in a subtraction problem is the minuend. We take away the subtrahend and the answer is the difference. And it's easy to remember if you get these confused because the letter M comes before the letter S in the alphabet. So the minuend's first, then the subtrahend. When the minuend and subtrahend have unlike, that's different signs, we will need to add zero pairs to model integer subtraction with counters. We have a positive five and we're subtracting a negative two. We start with five positive counters and there are no negative counters to take away, so we first add two zero pairs, a positive and a negative, and a positive and a negative. That's one zero pair, that's another zero pair. We take away the two negative counters, and we're left with seven positive counters. So five minus a negative two is equal to seven. Here our minuend is a negative two, and we're subtracting a negative six subtrahend. When the absolute value of the minuend is less than the absolute value of the subtrahend, we will need to add zero pairs. The absolute value of negative two is two, it's two jumps away from zero, and the absolute value of negative six is six, it's six jumps away from zero. Two is less than six, so the minuend's absolute value is less than the subtrahend's absolute value. We are going to need zero pairs to do this. We have two negatives, we need to take away six negatives. So 
we add four zero pairs, so there will be a total of six negatives. See that? We don't add six zero pairs. We add four zero pairs, so there's a total of six negatives. Now we subtract the six negatives and see that four positive counters remain. Negative two minus negative six is equal to four. Now, if this seems confusing, stick with me. I have a few more examples. We need to find the difference. It's a subtraction problem. We have a negative three, and we need to take away a positive eight. So this is not negative eight. This is the subtraction symbol. So we have a negative three minus a positive eight. We start with three negative counters. That's for this negative three. We need to subtract eight positive counters, but we don't have eight positive counters. So we add eight zero pairs, so there will be eight positive counters. Now we subtract those eight positives. And we're left with 11 negative counters. That means negative three minus eight is equal to negative 11. So this is what's happening. When we don't have enough counters to subtract the subtrahend, we add zero pairs until we do have enough. We have a positive four minus a positive seven. We make four positive counters. We will need to add three zero pairs to have enough positive counters to remove the seven positive counters. So we had the four for this. Okay, here's our four positive ones. It wants us to take away seven positive ones, so we add one, two, three zero pairs, so there is a total of seven positive counters that we can take away. We take away the seven positive, and what's remaining are three negative, so four minus seven is equal to negative three. When we don't have enough counters to subtract the subtrahend, we add zero pairs until we do have enough. We have a negative one, that's this one right here. We need to take away eight negative counters. We only have one here. So we add seven zero pairs of a negative and positive. So here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven zero pairs. Now we do have eight negatives, and we remove those eight negatives. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and we're left with seven positive counters. Seven positive counters remain. Negative one minus negative eight is equal to a positive seven. Now, if this lesson seemed very confusing, Go back and try watching it again, and maybe it'll make sense. Okay, we've finished this lesson. We're going to move on to 1.3b. We're going to be subtracting integers on a number line. So just remember, when you don't have enough counters to subtract the subtrahend, we add zero pairs until we do have enough. Have a wonderful day, and... I hope you'll join me for the next lesson. Bye.